All right, welcome. This is the third package of airbrush videos. And in this package, we're gonna show you lots more about making waves and water. So we're gonna start off with something really fun, which is making a wave crashing against some stones by blowing the paint around with our airbrush. And it's really easy. All of these paintings are easily under 20 minutes. Most of them are under 10 minutes, in fact. Um, and you can make a whole gorgeous painting using these techniques that are taken from spray paint art, from the world of spray paint art. So all of these techniques actually uh, were evolved by myself in Paloma Coronado in Mexico for spray paint art, and now I'm transferring them so that you can do them now with your airbrush and just have a lot of fun just really exploring all these new, new ways of thinking about paint. So in the second video, I'm going to show you more ways to make waves, and the focus in this one is on the beach in front of the wave. Just creating a really depthful looking foam. Foam that you just want to go stick your toes in because it just looks cool and it looks real. And again, we're blowing the paint around with the airbrush. We're working with a lot thicker and wetter paint than usually you would with an airbrush. But that's why this is good because it's it's just new techniques, new stuff that you've probably never seen before. Again, taken from the world of spray paint art and brought to your airbrush. So there's our almost finished painting. We're putting some water on the rocks and a comet and just a few little details and there you go. Explained step by step so that you can do it too and have fun. And then we're going to focus on a rough sea. And again, we're just blowing that paint around, having fun. Look at how delicate those textures come out just by blowing that around. And we're going to make our crashing wave again using spray paint art techniques. Moving the paint around with our paper. And blowing our paint around with our airbrush, which is the new part that's added now that now we have more tools. We have air to work with. So I'm going to show you how to add a few rocks that the water can crash onto and make them drip with wet water in the most easy way possible. <laughs> and there's another simple painting done in minutes. And of course you can take all these techniques and experiment with them and make what it is you really want to paint. Maybe you've seen some some interesting places or you have some pictures or places you went on to vacation that you'd like to paint. Well, I'm hoping that these videos will give you some ideas about how to go about doing that. You'll get all the basic techniques for painting waves and this is an underwater scene where I'm teaching how to paint a ship that's been sunk underwater and there are the waves above the water. And I'm showing you just fun ways to make coral and fun ways to make it look like it's underneath the, the waves. So these techniques use all the materials that we use in spray paint art. They use torn pieces of paper, they use sponges, they use a few brushes and palette knives, and they also use some unusual materials. Things that you might find in, in the grocery store or under your kitchen cabinet. Of course you should have watched the setup videos before you go about trying all these techniques so that you can get your materials just right. So in this painting we're going to show you how to make a, a purple wave with water that moves underneath the wave. Just all kinds of variations so that no matter what you paint you have some idea of how to go about it. How to take what's in your imagination and just easily move it onto the to the paper to the page in a way that just really is fun to do. And I try to make these videos fun and relaxing so that you can watch them. And you can even put them on in the background while you do something else and just watch a little bit. And eventually you'll pick up the techniques. And then when you go into your studio, you'll have all kinds of new ideas. So I hope you've enjoyed this and that you're intrigued and that you give it a try and paint some waves with your airbrush and the spray paint art techniques.